Oh, ah, Christ. This is going to be a transformation video. I'm finally gonna get. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, all oh, my joy. I just kind of like shot out my throat. Anyways, I'm getting a, pier a new piercing. Um, I'm gonna get new tattoos. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm budgeting for this. I have this planned out over the next two months. And I'm taking you along with me. And something I haven't shared yet is I actually did get my first tattoo. I've always been obsessed with tattoos ever since I was a kid. But again, acting. And also the permanence of a tattoo and how a lot of like a mental issues going on with overthinking it and making sure that I wasn't gonna hate myself more if I put something on me that I chose. Like, if I had something to do with it, it would give me another reason to hate myself. I had a lot of, like, like inner conflict with that. But I wanted one more than anything. And I made an appointment, and I literally I canceled it, like, the night before. And a couple weeks ago, me and Brendan were hanging out, and I was like, what if I got a tattoo today? Would you support that? And he was like, hell yeah, I would. And I was like, what? Why would you support that? Like, isn't that impulsive? He's like, no, you've been talking about it ever since I've known you. I was like, okay, fair enough. And then we just walked in and got it. <coughs> I was scared, nervous. Brendan was sleeping, so tired. But I I knew what I wanted. They were playing gorillas. They were playing old Tame Impala. And the dude was so sick. And they kept playing gorillas. And I was breathing and meditating through. It really wasn't that painful, honestly. Like, I would tell you if it hurt. But it didn't. And I am obsessed with it. Before anybody comments anything about the order of symbols, I put them out of order on purpose. I put the gas giants and Pluto on top, and I put Mercury through Mars on the bottom because I like the symbols for the gas giants more, and I like the gas giants more. Uranus is my favorite planet, and then Neptune. And so I just want, and I think that they're more powerful for me anyways. They mean more to me. Like, obviously I live on Earth, I love Earth, but in terms of influential s celestial bodies, uh, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. You know, I really debated it too because I was like, you can't change the order of the planets. Like, you can't disrupt the order. And I realized that like, that's just how I live my life. And this is my body and my tattoo and I, I want what I want. So I'm just gonna fucking change the order of the planets to suit me. Okay, it is three days later. Just about. And it is finally time to rip this shit off. good choice because I can't even see it so it was a good first one but I learned a lot about myself and and it made me a little bit freer to get more so this is this is a glow up welcome to the glow up and before I get hit with the onslaught of, oh my god you've changed the only thing that's changed is the grip on which I had control over all my desires and the grip with which fear had on me and just imprisoned by other people's opinions which fucking just don't even matter okay period speaking of changing your life sponsoring today's video is better help if you've been watching my videos for some time you know how often i talk about therapy and the benefits of therapy and how my therapist of three years quite literally kept me sane during one of the most difficult periods of my life and gave me tools I needed to navigate experiencing life with myself. Tools like ways of interpreting my thoughts and categorizing them in order to understand a reaction I'm having. Another tool gave me the ability to ground myself during a particularly intense situation and find the moment and reality again. These are just two examples of years of work and tools I've acquired that I still use to help me function. If having a third party, unbiased, licensed therapist who is trained to listen and give helpful advice sounds like something that would benefit you, 
BetterHelp provides that from the comfort of your own home. And there is a link to the website in the description. You can have therapy sessions as a phone call, a video chat, or even messaging if you prefer that. There are over 30,000 therapists in their network that cover a huge range of expertise. You will fill out a questionnaire and be matched with the right therapist to fit your specific needs. And you are not locked in. You can switch to a new therapist at no additional cost. If you're looking for therapy, BetterHelp is offering 10% off when you use the link in the description. I can't oh believe God. I just see that in public. Mine wants these two second clips. Yeah, no. That's all I can withstand. Well, I'll do it. Okay, yeah, you do it. So, it's today? It's today. Have you been in there? Yes! I haven't. Oh, so anyways, it's Friday the 13th, and I have tattoo fever. And today's a really good day to do that. Except for, I'm, you know, it's like a permanent decision. Which you can't really think about. <laughs> I'm covered up so that they don't know that I don't have any others. <laughs> that was your uh, reasoning? Yeah, and because it's a little cold. Didn't know that. It's fall. It's the only temperature I can wear this cool. <laughs> I wish we could go. Wait, I'm almost here. Okay. Best kept secret in the world. Just don't tell them where it is. Gatekeep it. Gotta gatekeep it. <laughs> Oh my god, I look terrifying in all of these. Do you like my tooth? I got some bling. I got some tooth. Teeth bling. Teeth. That was the best place I've ever found in New York. I mean, I don't know how busy it gets, but on a Friday night, it's not that busy at all. And that is the ideal time to be getting sipping tea barefoot. Yes. I must say. But anyways, it's just, I've waited the four full hours, and we're going back to the tattoo place, and I'm very excited. You're so obsessed with fall flavored shit. Yeah, okay. So every other girl out there. Oh, you're still going? <laughs> Can you believe that song was playing? Daft Punk. <laughs> um, I was almost certain that a ton of people had gotten this guy because I thought it was so such a good I literally looked at tons. Thank you. So many New York City flash tattoo deals and I did not see a single flash that was even like 2% worth. <laughs> I <laughs> are right here. True. Um, until I saw this little skull guy. Nobody got it today and I'm like the last fucking person. Yeah. The second skin is coming off. How much time we have? This bitch the, tr the bus still isn't here. I know, it's, it's late. We did not need to be- watch it not come. It is so small and I don't have literally anything else so I thought it might But look it really does look fine like that. Cheapy. It oh, looks yeah, no, fine. I'm happy. And then Monday, we get blasted. Vlogging. Oh. This is too scary. Whoa. Just our reactions. <laughs> Fucked up. This is not okay. <laughs> yeah, we did not like that. There was no need for any of that. There was not. <laughs> we were watching Friday the 13th. This, that was uncute. From 2009. Fuck that shit. That one, yeah. And now for the best Halloween thing to watch. Halloween Baking Championship. Uh, you're my first idea. I'm like scared of everything. Right. <laughs> it was so cute though. I'm scared of this ventriloquist act right now. She's very good at it. Nope, nope, nope. Oh. Crystal egg. Stop. Okay. 
Okay, so I didn't film literally anything. And this is the literal biggest piece of it. But let me tell you, okay, I was freaked out. I knew that I was killing a part of myself. Death to the person without these things. Death to the ego, really, that was holding me back. So anyway, here I am on the subway there taking pictures of my shoulders, which I knew were going to be covered up. Once I got there, she was so sweet. It was the coolest atmosphere. The place was amazing, exposed brick, just full of art and plants and life. And like, she was the kindest person ever. The experience was amazing. I was so excited. When she finally put these stickers on, I was genuinely just so excited. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh... I fucking can't stand that every surface in my room is just a little too low. By a little, I mean like significantly way too low. Now you're on a shelf. Because I'm so so tall. If you look up like my height, I think one time on the internet I saw it said like 5'6 or 5'5 or some shit. Inaccurate. I will tell you what, how tall I really am though. I don't want to scare you. Anyways, it's time to take these off. This video is crap. I already know that. I already know. I didn't film anything. Okay. Hardly anything. <laughs> I don't know what this video looks like. I usually like edit videos in my head as I'm recording. Like I'm like, okay, here's how this is going to go. But this one is just like, I have not been doing that because I like prioritize living in the moment so much that I've like just like YouTube has just gone to the wind and like I'm in the process of recalibrating and refiguring like re learning like how to integrate it back and like how to balance everything but anyways fuck all that it's time to unveil my shoulders oh my god they're kind of itchy low-key and they still hurt it's been almost three days like today is the third day like at like 7 30 p.m it will have been three full days and it's like a two to three day thing i just want to so let's go do it in the bathroom sunshine first this one hurt the most to get it was the first one she did and it hurt like not great it was just not pleasant but it was fine obviously i got through it it didn't take that long I hate peeling up the ink with it. It just feels like I'm taking the tattoo off. But the tattoo is under my skin. I don't know what I'm thinking. I mean, it is technically still an open wound. Ouchie! Oh. Ow. Fucking shit. None of the other ones felt like this. Ouch! Okay, you know what? I'm done with the second skin business. I'm never, ever having this happen again. Ow. Ow. Oh Shit on my dick. Ow. Oh, I just got a cramp over here. Done. scab forming I'm ripping it off now I'm just gonna go way slower I'm not doing this anymore ow if you get a little small tattoo this shit makes sense but if you got like a lot of lines going on this shit makes no sense so I'm just gonna put that out there ow fucking shit ow no oh sorry so dramatic but it really hurts it's taking off skin ink glue Leaving a lot of glue actually. Almost there. Like three quarters of the way through. Something I've come to learn about myself is that like very rarely can I ever do anything like small. Like if I'm into something, I kinda have to like do the most. 
very rarely is that not the case. Like I can't think of damn near anything where I was like, oh, I'm into that a lot. And then I just kind of like didn't do much with it. So that's kind of why I got the biggest tattoos I possibly could. Obviously not, they're not the biggest, but for this being like my first real visible tattoo situation, like they're pretty big. They're like two fucking giant tattoos on each of my shoulders. Ow. It's not like I did a whole sleeve, but you know what I mean. Um, at this rate, but yeah. Okay, that looks kind of gnarly. I should just leave that for Halloween and be like, I'm um, that's skin. You know how like when you put Elmer's glue on your hands and you peel it off, it's nice and satisfying. This is the least satisfying. This is the most opposite of that like, thing ever. It's like really fucking painful and the glue isn't even coming off. It's actually just staying on there. This hurts. I'm talking through it. We are so close. I don't want to do this. Oh, I feel like free. I need to take a minute. <laughs> Fuck. Part of what I love so This was actually the worst part when I was getting tattooed, it was right in this like armpit area. So just reliving that. Anyways, part of what I love so much about that, these tattoos is the experience I had when getting them. The tattoo artist was the sweetest human being I've like literally ever met. And she gave me the biggest, warmest hug after. And it was just like such a wonderful experience. We were just talking about art and like our different mediums because she's obviously a visual artist and like draws and paints and I like make music and she used to make music and like she used to play instruments and we just talked about how like art different mediums of art are just different you know canvases really but we're all just trying to express something inside and like we all have our own ways of doing that like when I look at a blank canvas like a literal sheet or like a literal canvas I'm like I don't know how to convey anything onto that but if I've got like a guitar or like, you know, I've got an empty music project, like I can start conveying instantly exactly what I'm feeling and then create this huge, you know, mural of what's going on inside me into a song, you know, obviously. It's like, ah. And we both, we were just like, so what do you spend your time doing? Like, what's, what do you enjoy? Like, and we were both just like, she's like, I just draw. I'm like, I just make I just play guitar. You know, it's just this thing. We just really got each other on like that kind of level. She literally was like, anything you want changed, like, please. She just didn't take anything personally. And I was like, why don't we all act like this in America? Like, why is it just a Canadian thing to be so humanly understanding? Anyways, this was a wonderful tattoo experience. Um, it happened right after the eclipse, which was a very intense day for me. Some crazy fucking shit happened and I had a gig. My first gig with like the full band of my the best gig I've ever played, genuinely. Um, the loudest my guitar has ever been. I have a new drive pedal that just like made the guitar scream and sing and it was incredible. And it was the most fun I've ever had on stage and was literally like in that moment I was like this is what I picked up the guitar to do was this. This is why. This is why. Okay. I had a lot of people be like, are those fake? <laughs> I was like, no. But I don't think they're gonna be saying that probably anymore because I'm gonna go scrub this glue residue off. Dude, that took a lot out of me. Like I'm like a little like faintish. I'm gonna get in the shower. I just got out of the shower. Still have like, a bit of glue residue. I've been trying to peel it off, but I'm over it now. <sighs> wow. <laughs>
That's fucking crazy. That's the big transformation. I do just want to say one thing about self-expression and that I genuinely feel like it's a healing thing to do and an important thing to do as often as possible to just express yourself in whatever that looks like or means to you um, in whatever way you can, you know, obviously to a point of, you know, not causing violence to yourself or to anyone else but like whenever possible being your authentic self and like whatever that looks like to you this feels fills me with like self love i guess it's like safety like trusting myself i'm like hey this is what you look like you can you can express what you look like it might be a lot but it's you thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next vid bye